Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the 52 Toys Beast Box BB53 Floyd <laughs> That's the Pink Floyd or the uh, Pink Flamingo So yeah, really cool figure uh, It comes with the pre-order bonus So we have here a sort of a pool of water with some herbs coming out So yeah, you can assemble it like this You can take a look at this first real quick so we have this, and I can pop it out there. Jeez. All right, let's try this, try this, and yeah, we got this here. There you go, pop it out. So yeah, really cool, they, they are like three hexagonal, and they just plug into each other like this. So yeah, kind of cool. We can plug, uh, uh, I guess we can do it like this. How? I'm not sure. <laughs> I haven't toyed with it. Oh, there you go. One, one spot here. And, uh, ooh, I don't know. Here, maybe? There you go. So we've got water spots, and then we have these herbs thing. Can plug it back here and here. Make it pretty, you know? So, yeah, kind of cool. So we have a nice, cute stand. So we'll put this aside. We'll put this all aside. So yeah, cool pre-order bonus. Not my thing, but okay, cute. But yeah, we really want to take a look at Floyd, the pink flamingo. So yeah, real cool figure. Uh, we can see here with this wing spread, a couple of poses, and the cube, of course, because this is a 5-2 Toys Beast box. It transforms into a box and, you know, compares to the all the, all the other one. <laughs> so, got the flamingo here. And we got the uh, in the instructions and a couple of uh, other stuff. So we have the card, which is okay. With cardboard box and everything. The, the booklet is pretty much the same as we've always uh, knew about. So yeah, we got the instructions here. Instructions are pretty good. The transformation is actually pretty simple. I'm uh, a little bit disappointed. I thought it would be more in uh, more involved, but no, it's rather easy. <laughs> so we have the. Flamingo into box mode and on the other side is the box mode all the way up to Flamingo mode. So yeah yep, 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 yep. Store these so, yeah, and we finally have the figure right here So we got first the B the, the box uh, the box charger which is just simple box It's pretty much all the same as the other ones. So yeah you can pig, as you can see, I get, do have a nice little wall, but uh, yeah, and we have the figure right now, and yeah, figure is really awesome, looks really good, nice details everywhere, and uh, we can unfold the legs, unfold the wings, so there you go, and the figure itself is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not too good at posing right now, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, there you go, real cool figure. The, the one thing that strikes me uh, as I play with it is the plastic quality feels really cheap, like really low quality, very different than what we are, we're used to have with the other ones. I don't know what, what happened with this figure, but yeah, I do have, I play with all, all the other ones and the plastic feels like super solid, super, you know, thick and everything, but this one feels weak, feels cheap, feels... It really feels like a knockoff. I do have my uh, knockoff uh, Dio uh, stored over there, and it feels like it's the same plastic. So I'm really surprised by the quality that is different on this one. So I don't know what was their decision, but uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. But uh, anyway, figure is pretty cool. Do have the tail flops out right here. The neck can go up and down, rotate here, angle here, angle here. Do have a uh, ball joint at the neck and a swivel, and we can also extend the neck for some reason. So, <laughs> okay, uh, nothing at the beak, although we do have some light piping, so that's cool. Uh, the leg can rotate like this, and also have a spread like this. It doesn't go far, but that's pretty much it. We do have the knee band here, and as we need the knee bends, we do have that thing right here that goes up. And is also articulated, so like this. And be careful when you play with it. 
so you really have to pass it through the leg. We do have a swivel at the ankle and a ball joint, sort of, like this. So, got that. Uh, the wings can rotate like this, flip up like this. It's on a double joint like this. Oops. Uh, we do have wing here. We do have that here. Uh, we do have uh, this here that separates and flops around. We do have this and this and this and this. <laughs> There's lots of articulation in the wing alone. So, yeah, really cool. Oh, we also have like the, these feathers that go like this so yeah, there's tons of stuff but uh yeah really cool figure we do have like the the, the dots here we can you know put it on the figure uh, stand uh, where is it uh, there's a hole here there you go plugs it on one feet holes uh, just like a real one so that's pretty cool <laughs> well yeah really cool figure so uh, yeah that's Pretty much it for the pink flamingo. There's tons of paint everywhere, which is really cool. But again, the plastic quality feels really light, feels really cheap. I haven't broken mine, but it feels like it would break easily, you know? So that's very weird. But anyway, we can now pass to the transformation. So lift this up for once, lift this up like this, and you need to bend the neck completely in here and bend this in here. Like so, and then close it back, like this. Uh, is it totally in? We need to stretch this out. There we go, like this. So, yeah, got this. Next up, you flip the leg forward, and make sure these are here, and you lift this up, like this. And you have, like, a hole right here, and a peg on the side of the leg here, so you pick it in. There you go, like this. The tail, uh, wait, wait, let's do the other leg first, so bring it forward, same thing here, bring it like this, and peg on the leg right here, tap it in, there you go. The tail will flip up like this, and there's a tab right here that will go onto the back, so peg it in, there you go. This goes down here, like this, the feet goes like this, kind of weird, but okay. <laughs> Flip the uh, wings and put them straight as possible. Uh, bring the wings like this. This flip ups, flip up like this. This goes down, but this flips out like this. So, like this, so. Bring it here, again, the same thing. So bring this open, bring this down. Bring this down like this. This, you flip it out all the way around like this. You have this configuration somehow, like this. And then you just flip the uh, wings down. You have a hole right here that will peg into the leg right here. So bring it down. There you go, peg it in. Same here. Peg, 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 peg. Oh. Wings needs to be like this. This needs to be here. There's, there you go, pegs in here in here and that's pretty much it oh, we need to flip these so that they are perfectly aligned like this maybe like this and this pegs in here also there you go and these will need to peg again onto the wing there we go flip this down Flip this in, there you go. We have all of this in here. And that's pretty much it for the box mode. And this one just keeps on pegging. But yeah, these feet needs to be straight up like this. So there we go. We gotta be the box. So that's pretty much it. Very simple transformation. There you go. Close in. Everything's fine. A little bit loose. So the cube is not. Uh, it's a little bit tinier, but not that much. But still, uh, it's just the, the quality. The, the figure itself is fun, is nice, looks great with the stand and everything. The stand is uh, mostly pre-order. Maybe you might be lucky to get one too. But the figure is just a plastic quality, feels very cheap. So very hollow, light, and uh, yeah, I'm uh, 
kind of disappointed by the quality, but the figure itself is amazing. The transformation is fun. It's a little bit too easy for my taste, but eh, still the figure is really cool. It's not the best of the figure so far, but it's a uh, really cool looking. So yeah, <laughs> not disappointed. But I still really love it. It's just, you know, the plastic feels different and I don't know why. Mm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. This is a classic quality that feels weird. But the rest, pretty cool. Transformation, simple, works great. The figure of the Flamingo is just amazing. The paint details is great. So, yeah. <laughs> if you want to uh, pick it up, I got this from SeerToys.com. I'm going to put the link in the description below the video. Go and pick it up. Like I said, it's a fun figure, cool figure. It's just light and the plastic feels different. That's my only gripe for it. And there's no explanation for it, so I can't, I, I don't know why, but the plastic feel re really different than all of the rest. So, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. So, you know the song, like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.